I like trout fishing and everything. They're, they're cool, they're in beautiful places, but I like to hear my reel go off. I, I like to see my backing and, and things like that, and trout just don't do that. And I fell in love with the game of carp fishing, that whole, like, it's never easy. It's, it, it's always something completely different, and it's, it's a ton of fun. Carp are way smarter than trout. They fight way harder, and they're five minutes from pretty much everybody's house in Phoenix. I'm Derek Ripchin, and I own and operate Low Water Guide Service. I'm Chris Bear. I manage AZ Fly Shop here in Phoenix, Arizona. They're electric. It's a lot like hooking a bonefish. They they separate themselves from you in a hurry. So we got pink fish there. People are realizing that they're getting better at fly fishing quicker from yeah. targeting carp. Yeah. Like, it makes you a better angler. Your cast has to be perfect the first time. You don't get a second shot. Yeah. All right. It makes you good at spotting fish. You see that twig sticking out of the water on the left side of the tree? Right below that, is that a fish? And feeding them. It's like, kind of like flats fishing. You're like, oh, yeah. you get really used to feed fish, like yeah. making them eat. Oh. God, yeah, I have to see the carp yeah. on 99%. I can sometimes read their body language, but more times than not, it's watching that carp eat the fly and setting, so it's all visual. You're up high, elevated, looking down in the canal or out on the flats where it's exactly like redfish or bone fishing, pretty much. Yeah. And yeah, it's just... Except bonefish will take a fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> that a carp yeah, don't carp. like to. Yeah. <laughs> I know of places where there's 50 pounders. They're some of the biggest fish in Phoenix, period. Yeah, and then commons get down. You'll see today they get down. Yeah. Most of our water is relatively small um, and it gets warm fast. It's 120 out, you're gonna go trout fish and you're gonna kill trout. It's 100 mm -hmm. degrees up in the mountains still. And you yeah. can catch carp and they're just thriving and they love in the heat, just sunbathing mm -hmm. pretty much. With the whole thing that happened with COVID and it pushed people outside. There's a lot of fishing pressure on very, very, very small water. For me, because the carp are here, I personally trout fish a lot less. But yeah, let's just go hit the canals and then go get happy hour. And really showing people that, hey, these fish are out here and they can be caught and it's fun and hopefully it can take some, some pressure, get some people off of those trout streams and, and down here and fishing for some more water stuff. <laughs>